What's up you guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a electronic kit sent by Donor. Huge shout out to Donor for sending me this kit to review. And uh, we're gonna talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'm gonna show you how this kit sounds. And I'm gonna do a, like a quick little drum cover so you can just get a feel for this kit if you're interested in purchasing an electronic drum set. Hey, what's up you guys? So forgive the setting, um, I made a video a clip at the studio talking about what I like about the kit, but apparently my, my camera wasn't recording, which is crazy. But um, yeah, real quick, I, I like actually sitting down with this a little bit more. The kit is definitely very comfortable and um, that's definitely a plus for me. I love the like the response from the drum heads. It's very comfortable. I, I pretty much like using this whole set to like practice my speed around the kit because I know I gotta work on that a lot. And um, and there's actually a few sounds in here that I really like. And yeah, so I definitely recommend if you're a like complete beginner, please. I recommend you checking this kit out. It's definitely dope for the price and definitely you'll have a lot of fun. All beginners, you have a ton of fun with this kit. So yeah, that's, that's, that's some of the stuff that I take away from this kit that I really like about it. So let's start with the snare drum. The snare drum is a dual zone snare. So what that means is there's multiple sounds if you hit it a certain way. So in the middle, and then you got the rim. I believe the cymbals are dual sounding too. So if you hit it harder, you see that you get the crash. Let me, let me show you guys what the kick sounds like. So let me get into what I don't really like about this kit. And this is pretty much, this first one, it, it goes for any, any electronic kit that has their hi-hat built like this. I'm not a fan of the hi-hat being one cymbal and I don't really get that hi-hat feel and it, I can't really practice on my independence that well with the hi-hat being a pedal. And there's sometimes where I'm, I want to open hi-hat and it doesn't come out. Especially when I'm doing different grooves, sometimes this open hi-hat doesn't come out because I'm not 
I didn't really let go of this pedal. Another thing that I don't really like is the, the kick drum. Because my foot is really fast, this is not really good for my foot because I tend to, the kick drum tends to move out the way. Now I have it placed here where it can fit firmly on the ground, but still, like by the time I'm done doing maybe three, three drum fills, the kick drum is like, it's, it's, it shifts from left to right. And I always have to adjust it in the middle of playing. Now, before I get into the next thing that I don't like about this kit, I will highly recommend you guys, if you are a beginner, this kit is perfect for you. Donor has have been making some good beginner kits, all right? And you'll understand why I recommend this for beginners. Another reason why I recommend this kit for beginners is when I'm doing a bunch of rudiments and stuff like that, it does a decent job tracking every hit, but sometimes you'll, you'll hear it, it just sounds like one sound because it's not really picking up all the notes that I'm doing. I'm actually going to demonstrate playing slower and you'll be able to hear more, more of my notes. See the difference? Yeah. That is the e-drum kit from Donor. I'll leave all the information down in the description box below. If you're interested in grabbing this kit, I highly recommend this kit for beginners. If you're a beginner, this kit will do you wonders, especially from the, the price point. Th this is perfect for beginners. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe,